In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your very own VPS, which in case you're not familiar, stands for virtual private server. The goal here is to create a simple website like this in order to demonstrate the basics of creating and connecting to a VPS. There are dozens of different VPS providers to choose from, and you can choose whichever one you like. But for this tutorial, we'll be using Vulture. The first step is to sign up for a Vulture account, and you can actually start using Vulture for free with the credits that I've linked in the description below. Once you have your account and you're logged into your Vulture dashboard, we are ready to spin up your VPS server. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm in my Vulture dashboard. I'm going to click on deploy server. And here you have a few different options. Now, this is just for demonstration purposes. We can go with the cheapest option in here, which is going to be cloud compute. So I'm going to click on that. And then you have a range of types of CPU and storage technology. The Cheapest one, again, is going to be the Intel regular performance, which unless you're doing something very critical, this one is sufficient. Now, pick the server location closest to you. For me, I am in Sequoia National Forest, so I'm going to pick this one in Los Angeles, California. They have a lot of different op uh, locations, by the way, all around the world. One of the newest ones is this one in India. Anyway, moving along, uh, you can pick any operating system you want or a pre-installed uh, application. What we're going to do in this tutorial is go with Ubuntu 22.04. That's what I'm using. You can pick whatever you would like to use. Now for the server size, again, feel free to pick any of these server sizes. But for demonstration purposes, this $5 per month server with 25 gigabytes of space, um, disk space, one CPU core, and one gigabyte of memory with one terabyte of monthly bandwidth. Okay, so we don't need any backups unless you're, again, you're doing something critical. I'm going to turn that off. And everything else looks good. I do have other videos about how to set up a passwordless login with your SSH keys, but we're just going to log in with a password for this. And that looks good, so let's click on Deploy Now. This will take a little bit for this to install and get set up, so I will fast forward through this and catch up with you when that finishes. Okay, and just a few moments later, our server is up and running, as you can see here. And the really cool thing about VPS is, is yes, there is a monthly rate, but you're only charged by the hour. So if I were to go right here and destroy the server right now, I would only be charged one cent, which is really cool. So anyway, let's click into our cloud instance, and this is the page that is associated with this particular VPS. There's some good information here about our IP address, username and password. We'll be using those in just a bit. The current plan that we have selected and our operating system that's running. Now, if we wanna change any of the specs associated with our VPS, then we can do that. I'm gonna show you how to do that. Also, we can change the operating system if we want to do that as well. So in order to do that, you come into settings, change, uh, I'm sorry, change plan, and that'll allow you to increase the amount of CPU cores and RAM and disk space associated with your VPS. You can also change the operating system from Ubuntu to something else or change the application that's running on top of it. Um, we won't get into that too much, but I just want to make you aware that that is available here. Okay, so back here, let's go ahead and log into our server. Now, there's a couple different ways you can do this. You can use PuTTY on Windows, you can use a terminal on Mac or Linux. The easiest, probably for everybody, way to do this is with a built-in server console. So let's click on that, and that's gonna open up to something that looks like this, Vulture Login. So let's put that here on the right-hand side. We'll put this on the left-hand side because we're gonna need some information. So Vulture Login, the username is root, so go ahead and type that in, root. And then the password, let's show the password here. Unfortunately, I don't think there's any way to paste into here. Oh, maybe there is, but I'm just going to type this in right now and you won't see anything happen as you type, but when you're done, you can just hit enter and that'll go ahead and log you into your VPS. Now, this, as you can see here, is an Ubuntu system. Welcome to Ubuntu 22.04 and this is the terminal uh, command line session that we have logged ourselves into. Now, it looks like everything is up to date. Zero updates can be applied immediately, but it's always good practice if this is not the case to do something like this, apt update. And this is going to update the list of packages and you can do an apt upgrade. And because everything's already up to date, there is no updates to be applied. But again, that's just good practice to make sure your packages are up to date. Now, what we are going to do is use the apt package manager to install a web server for our 
VPS and we're going to install the Nginx web server. So when to install a package in general, you do apt install and then the package name, which in this case is Nginx, N-G-I-N-X, hit enter. And that's going to take about 2000 kilobytes of additional disk space. And if you get this prompt here, just hit the tab key and enter. Okay, now that our Nginx web server is installed, let's see if we can go to our website in a web browser. So let's copy our IP address, open up a new tab and paste it in, see if we get anything loading and it doesn't look like it. It's just hanging here right now. The reason for that is because there is by default a firewall running. So if we do UFW, which is the Ubuntu firewall status, it's only allowing connections from port 22, which is the SSH port. So in order to allow uh, HTTP ports or HTTPS ports, we can type something like this, UFW allow, and then in quotes, double quotes, Nginx full. And this is just a shorthand way to open up the those ports associated with that. And you can see immediately when we did that, uh, we see our Nginx default landing page right here. So now if we do a UFW status, you'll see that we are allowing uh, Nginx ports open, they're allowed from anywhere. So whether you're new to hosting a website or not, I'm going to give you some basic overviews. So this is actually HTML. There is a file on the system, an HTML file that we can modify to make our own web page. And that file by default for <clears throat> Debian and a lot of Linux systems is located at var www html. So we can use the cd command to change our directory to that location. So cd slash var slash www slash html. And in here we can use the ls command to list out the contents of this directory. And you'll see that we have an index.nginx-debian.html file. So let's open that up with a text editor. I think the most user-friendly text editor is nano, even though I like to use Vim, but let's open it up with nano, N-A-N-O, -N -O, and then the name of that file. So index, and what's cool about Unix operating systems is that you can start typing a file, and as long as that's the unique, the only file in that folder that has those characters that you typed, you can hit the tab key and it will auto complete that name. So you don't have to type out everything. So basically what this is saying is let's edit this file with this text editor. So hit enter. And now we have the contents, the HTML contents of this page on the left here. You can see them on the right. Now what I'm going to do is actually modify this file to be a custom website for myself. I'm going to use it as a template, but feel free to do something else on your own, play around with HTML. But yeah, this is what I'm going to do. Okay, there we go. When you're satisfied with your changes, you can save the file by typing Control X, and it's going to say Save Modified Buffer. You can type Y for yes, and then hit Enter to get out of there. Now we are back to our terminal window and those changes take effect immediately. So when we go over here to the left and refresh the page, you will see your custom HTML first, welcome to my website web page. Now that you have your own VPS, there are so many different directions that you can go. If you wanna learn more about hosting your own website, then check out this video next. Otherwise, I have this video, which will teach you some basic Linux server commands to help you understand the command line environment a little bit better.